So, we bought some batteries. Dad's run a pack of these. We we bought a pack years ago. And uh, he's ran these in his solar operation for quite a while. They are super safe 2T 1000MJ. MJ, I believe, stands for metal jacket for the casing. And we got these today for 1200 bucks. So, there are 12 in each box. And they make up 500 amp hour at 24 volts or 1000 amp hour at 12 volts. Depending on how you configure them. So there is, we're doing 24 volt. So there's 2000 amps at 24 volts in these boxes. We only had a couple that were a little bit low. Their data manufacturer is 2013. Um, they be I believe they've sat for a long time. They were data century, uh, data um, center batteries. We had a couple that were a little bit low. But I've only put 17 amp hours in and they're coming back up, which is good. Um, we've got three of those that were low on this pack only. All the rest are sitting there static at two volts. So we're going to get some leads and bolts sorted out for them so we can load test them in banks because that'll be about the quickest way to do it. Charging things uh, and just charging things at two volts sucks. It's, uh, it's a really slow way of doing things. These ZKE testers are good. Yeah, five amps. We put 17 amp hours into uh, that one closest to us. The next one over has a different kind of charger on it. And the third one over, same thing, I turned them on at the same time. That one's put in 13 amps at 4 amps, uh, 13 amp hours at uh, 3.9 amps at the moment. You can actually do ch channels with that, I need to find some more leads, I forgot about that. I always forget that that's one of them two channel ones. So yeah, these are a valve regulated sealed lead acid. Um, they basically don't gas. They're huge, they're heavy, they're 400 kilos a box. So they're a lot of lead for their uh, for their cost. And uh, 1,600 kilos, even at scrap values, pretty close to what we paid for them. And as you see, they've got beautiful big brass terminals on them. They're all numbered. Yeah. Make some links up so that I can get them into 12 volt packs because I can charge things a lot quicker with that. And just charge them with the shunt. Uh, handy, they come in these crates. It looks like they were pulled out of service in 2020. Um, there's delivery manifests on these boxes for 2020, eighth month. So yeah, I believe that's when they would have been picked up. Oh, I bought a bunch of these too. It's a heap of, um, Full river batteries. These nice one, 20 amp hour full rivers. I think I got four or five of those. If I drop one of these, it's a, I'll show you. It's a dry fit A600, which is a 300 amp hour two volt cell. Um, so I've still got enough to make a 12 volt battery and test and play around with. I haven't looked at them yet. I bought them as a package with some solar panels and stuff like that. There's an old fella who was uh, going into a retirement home. This is what he'd been stuffing around with for the last few years. I'll show you some of the other stuff another day. But they're gel cells. As you can see, the separators and the plates in there. Pretty cool. It's terribly acidic. You don't want to get that all over yourself. Um, something else that was cool on this pallet of batteries is uh, these are data safes, and they're made to put out... Um, 500 watt hours in 15 minutes. The high output seals for uh, UPS use, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I will give us an update in the next day or so, depending on how long this takes. Five amps an hour is mighty slow. So we'll just give these a boot for a few. I'm not even cheap with this one. I might, um, Go to smart digital power, set it to like four volts and start pushing it in there. 
because uh, even at 10 amps, this little charge is not going to be able to do any damage to that cell. Oh, six volts, who cares? Oh, look at that, 10 amps. Just to get some juice in that battery. It's much better. So this one's running on AC, and those ones have got DC in from little transformers. Stupid Chinese power cords, I just haven't changed them. Um, I want to get one of the big ones of those because you can plug them into a laptop and do a big discharge. The old fellas. Um, Hall will come with a bunch of solar panels and stuff as well. And uh, heaps of racking and panels and I haven't put any of it away yet. Tons of um, DC solar cable with MC4s. What else do we get? Uh, brackets, rail joiners, homemade bus bars. I'm not sure how much power you can put through them. I don't know much about bus bars. Um, heaps of feet and channel brackets. A bunch more tilt brackets, so they'll come in handy. Um, the bolt together joiners that you use to join the rails. Put bolts and screws and random stuff. A ton of the channel nuts. Uh, MC4 extensions and cables. Seen that coming. Well, that cardboard box doesn't matter anymore. It's okay. Um, yeah. Lots of feet, tilt setups and stuff. Yeah, a little swag of goodies. And uh, I paid 1500 for that with all the batteries. Came with all these as well. Tons of railing. Um, 14 170 watt solar panels, which I'm selling. I don't need 170s, I have. I've got 47, uh, 57 250s here, sorry. That need to be uh, installed. So yeah. Basically what I'm going to do with these is I reckon I will join them um, that way, then that way. So that they're, it's a thousand amp hours at 12 volts and uh, it's easy to test. I'll set the shunt up, put it on the inverter, charge them up, and then let it rip and see what happens. And see if there's much life left in them. Because yeah, they're, they're too good to leave there. I'm pretty stoked with them. Um, if you've got these, or you've worked with these in a data center, let me know. We're gonna try and stack these horizontal, uh, stack, stack them out vertical, that's what we bought them for. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes.